good morning everyone of course uh, the purpose of my video today uh, is just to make some kind of clarification um, you know between um, you know statistical logistical regression and um, machine learning logistic regression I, I know some of you uh, reading literature uh, maybe you've come across you know uh, the two type of regression uh, let me just let me follow for say this um, regression logistic regression is uh, being used you know in a classification uh, problem or uh, maybe I actually um, want to look at uh, uh, the effects of some uh, risk factors on the risk of getting a particular or uh, disease, okay, or uh, actually want to uh, make a prediction, you know, based on risk factors, can I actually classify somebody uh, to have a disease or not? Well, let me tell you this. You know, because of the fact that um, we got so many tensions when it comes to research, uh, it's either we want to explain or we want to predict. Uh, there's a difference between uh, the two. So you can watch uh, some of my videos on that, you know, where I talk about um, model explanation and model uh, prediction. Because uh, the model explanation uh, uh, is what we use in statistical world. You know, we, are, we actually... Um, want to understand and explain our uh, reality of course uh, we all know uh, explaining reality is not the same thing as predicting our uh, future okay so which actually means um, explanatory goal uh, is not the same as predictive goal and uh, because of that um, you know uh, explanatory power does not translate into predictive power now, so the logistic regression in the statistical model, uh, we actually uh, be used, you know, if our intention uh, is uh, to isolate, you know, the effects of a particular risk factor on the risk of getting disease. Or maybe, maybe what we're trying to work on is uh, disease or uh, classification based on factors. But logistic regression in the machine learning are actually going to be used when we are, you know, pursuing a predictive goal. You know, there's a difference between pursuing an explanatory goal and a predictive goal. Okay, so the one uh, in stat, you know, logistic regression is in statistics is actually okay. You know what? Um, we it's going to involve. Our estimation of parameter, you know, I'm talking about uh, regression parameter, you know, uh, trying to look at the assumptions of um, logistic regression model, you know, um, you know, the log the log the logic function has to be linearly related, you know, to the explanatory variables. There must be absence of um, uh, multicollinearity, and at the same time. We actually um, gonna test, um, you know, individual um, parameters associated with the risk uh, factor by means of p-value, okay? And we actually gonna have um, metrics of evaluation like adjusted R squared, you know, or the AIC, and so on, like that, okay? That is um, logistical regression. Uh, within statistical framework, you know, like I said, we use the uh, logistic regression within statistical uh, framework when we are pursuing an explanatory goal. Okay, and let me tell you this: um, it, it, we we don't need to split our data in in that kind of situation. We need the whole data set. Don't forget, um, you know, uh, the central limit theorem uh, actually implies that. We should be working with a large sample size, so we, we're actually going to use the old uh, data set, of course. You know, um, 
the, the statistic the logistic uh, regression within statistical framework okay it's just uh, going to uh, we're actually going to have a way to uh, split uh, total sources of variation into a component and that was why I call that a module explanation but when you talk about uh, logistic regression in um, machine learning you you know uh, a framework okay so we uh, our, our, our motive is actually tailored towards uh, you know prediction okay and of course uh, you know we don't care about um, you know multicollinearity we don't care about some you know stringent assumptions uh, that we care about uh, in uh, you know uh, you know in logistic regression within statistical uh, framework so we we don't care about that we uh, that, that assumption okay those assumptions we don't care about them and the only thing that we're actually uh, looking for is where we actually want to uh, look at the um, you know the possible combination of the risk factor that will give us uh, the best uh, prediction and let me tell you this in that uh, you know what, what, what we normally do you know uh, where we are pursuing predictive goal and we use the logistic regression within machine learning um, uh, you know platform is that we're going to split our data okay we split our training we split and, and test you know we're actually going to learn the function okay uh, from the training data then we at, we're going to uh, test the performance using uh, the test data and you know uh, doing that the uh, cross validation uh, 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 will be involved you know to validate uh, you know the model we are actually going to use uh, something a metric of evaluation like accuracy like uh, precision like recall like uh, you know or uh, something that we call uh, you know I A R R O C under uh, curve uh, and so on like that so uh, that is uh but let me just tell you the difference the difference is that the uh, logistic regression model that we pursue within statistical framework will be interpretable okay okay why the one we pursue within machine learning platform is not interpretable but let me tell you this the one within our machine learning platform we get we, we have more uh, predictive power compared to the one we pursue within statistical framework and the advantage of the one we pursue within statistical framework is that it's actually going to have it's going to be more interpretable and has more explanatory power okay so there's a difference between uh that two types of logistic regression the one we pursue within statistical framework the one we pursue within machine learning uh, framework okay so and of course you now know uh which one to use so which one to use depends on you know your goal whether you are pursuing an explanatory goal or you're pursuing uh, a predictive goal and that is the reason why it is always uh you know better for you to figure out you know at the beginning uh you know you need to disclose your intention you need to let us know let the old world know whether you actually want to explain or you want to uh, predict okay i believe uh, in this video uh you've actually learned situation uh where we use logistic regression within statistical framework and logistic regression within machine learning uh, framework. Okay, watch out for my next video.